This is my first video about the post-war freight cars. It starts with the flat cars as categorized in the standard catalogue of Lionel trains. Here you see the flat cars introduced between 1946 and 1955. I do not show all variants, but essentially the major models. The 3451 lumber car provided logs for the log loader, which was already introduced in 1940 and returned in the post-war period. The name Big Inch for the car refers to the petroleum pipeline built over land during the war from Texas to New Jersey and to avoid the dangerous sea route and attacks from German submarines. So the car supplied the tubes. These early post-war cars were made of die-cast metal and thus were more realistic than the sheath metal cars produced during the pre-war period, but more solid than the later plastic cars. They had knuckle couplers and thus could not be combined with pre-war cars or locos. The dropped center flat car carried several items like a searchlight, Trumpet cables, or this attractive transformer with its insulators, as shown here. Searchlight cars were already produced in the previous period and made of sheath metal. This newly introduced post war model was more realistic with its die cast frame and its additional generator. Lionel modified the 3451 lumber car by exchanging the coil coupler to the less expensive magnetic couplers and this new lumber car was sold as 3461. Apart from that, these cars are identical. They now also serve the lumber loader, which was introduced in 1948 and produced until 1957.
The pipe car was one of the first plastic cars, replacing the cast metal frames. This was of course much easier and cheaper to produce, but the car was sold for five ninety five and thus for the same price as the metal cars offered in the nineteen fifty three catalogue. The cable car used the drop center design introduced with the searchlight cars four years earlier. The cable drums had a single layer of aluminum wire and an elastic cord fixed the drums. This searchlight car had a rotating light with a vibrator coil mechanism used also for other items like the rotating antenna tower. This car used the body created for the 3361 log dump car. The trucks are original if they do not have a coupler, nor a mounting stud, or a hole in the tab. This sheet metal flat car came either with logs numbered 6111 or with tubes as 6121. It was produced in many different variants with respect to color, namely red, gray, yellow, with different lettering and different couplers. This long 16 feet brass car could only be run on the larger O gauge track and not on O27. The car was furnished with two plastic girders, initially labeled Lionel, as shown here. Later, they were also labeled. U.S. Steel. This car was offered as a component of the 460 piggyback transportation set. The forklift was controlled manually by a lever to lift the bar and a hand wheel to rotate the device. The traders could be moved from the car to the platform. The Evans Production Company, established by Robert Evans, was at that time a supplier of automotive transportation systems. This Lionel car remained in production for more than 10 years and there were many color variants of the four automobiles. The autos shown here are Kelly green and white. Other cars were red, yellow and chocolate brown. <laughs> 